Hello and welcome to my video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really hope you enjoy. So, Jan Sievert has been named as the new manager of Huddersfield Town, joining from Bristol Dortmund too. Now, where have I heard that before? Anyway, uh, Jan Sievert was the manager at Borussia Dortmund. They are currently second in the fourth tier of um, in their league, in the fourth tier of Bundesliga football, uh, behind a team that's doing very well and only lost once all season, so you can't blame them for that. Uh, but the Borussia Dortmund 2 team, it's really interesting to see what has happened in the last few years with uh, Wagner and Farker both joining the championship and now Sievert joining the Premier League back with Huddersfield. Uh, it's really, really awesome to see a well-trodden path now for these managers. Uh, Sievert has um, joined today, and this is what um, D Dean Hoyle has had to say. Uh, like any good football club or, or successful business outside football, uh, we need succession plans in place for our key roles. A major one here is the role of the head coach. Um, so the head coach is something that they've been doing, no longer managers. Um, but uh, yeah, head coach is something my club, Hereford, have done in recent years times and it's not gone too well for Hereford but it's, it obviously worked amazing for David Wagner. Given David's success at Hereford we knew it was prudent to look to the future in the case uh, came in an offer we couldn't refuse. David was fully aware that we were undertaking his work and you must prepare for the future. Jan's name come to our attention with his previous role as assistant manager and under-19 coach at uh, Bochum. Uh, we spoke with him over two years ago and we've kept in communication since. So he was up for the uh, original job, which uh, David Wagner got, which is very, very interesting. And they needed to get somebody quick. Um, they couldn't just not sort of dilly and dally around. And they'd gone a totally, totally, totally different route to... I was expecting, I was expecting a, a big Sam, somebody that's been there and done that. But I feel um, they've gone with somebody young, exciting, and somebody that could get a lot out of the players. There's obviously a lot of German players in the side. And it, it's really interesting to see that they've gone down the same path. Now, um, can Lightning strike twice or, or, or three times if you include... Uh, uh, Farker, who's doing a brilliant job at Norwich City at the moment. It's going to be tough, really tough, um, for him to keep Huddersfield Town up. In my opinion, I don't think they're good enough to stay up. And I think they're going to really, really struggle. But let's think positively for a second. The fact is, they could go and be like, OK, we're going down. But he is the person to take us forward, to give us um, some hope next season. Um, please get fully behind uh, Jan, as I'm confident you will. Treat Jan as his own man and give him time to develop in the role. This is a challenging time for the club, make no mistake. Uh, but we have an exciting head coach on our hands. I'm sure um, he will give us his all uh, for the club, etc, etc, etc. And his press conference will be tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see how well this does. But like I say, this looks like a long-term appointment somebody uh, not only for this season but next season as well and I think that's probably the right thing to do because if they went with a big Sam paid him a massive amount of money to, to, to come in probably only for six months probably end up relegated and then they're back to square one again and they've lost a lot of money this person is is going to be here for two three years and try and make the most of it so i think that is a positive appointment and it will be a similar style i'm expecting to um to wagner and and, and farker that plays that, uh, that uh, has been played currently and it's really 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 interesting they have gone down the same route personally i don't think he'll keep them up i don't think um i don't think he'll keep them up but I don't think um, this is a bad appointment, which sounds a little bit weird. I just don't see how them going for somebody um, for the for for the future and not for now can be a bad thing. I think they'll go down. I still think they'll get relegated. That goes without saying. But at least they're trying something new, something different, and trying a new man. Um, he has been linked with it for a while and was the clear favourite for a while. Um, and whether this works out 
or not short term they still have a long term appointment the likes of Schindler he'd have probably seen before and, and Eric Dam of course and, and, and he'll be used to a lot of the people already I'm sure he keeps an eye on you know what happens in, here in the Premier League so he'll know a lot of the players and he probably have, has watched Huddersfield games now that he's been linked with it and whatever he probably watched the game on Sunday against Manchester City the thing is if this appointment is to work they need to get behind him and give him as much like support as possible because it is going to be hard it is going to be very very difficult um but he starts um you know at the weekend and it'll be interesting to see how he gets on um the first game really he doesn't have a game because they lost in the um in the uh, FA Cup to Bristol City. His first game is at home against Everton. That could be a huge game. That's in midweek. Uh, it would be really interesting to see what he gets from there. It would be really good to see him get off to a good start and give them a big, big push. Um, I remember having a few reservations when Carlos Carvalho uh, came in at Swansea and he did exceptionally well at the start. So maybe they could have a similar boost uh, under him. The fact is, David Wagner is an incredible incredible manager seems a lovely lovely person as well but something needed to change um you know they they'd picked up one point in the last sort of 10 games that's just not good enough is it and something needed to change and they've made that change now hopefully they can try and get something uh, from this season it's not dead yet um, you know, a few wins and they'd be right back up there. So that would be really, really, really good to see. Um, they've gone a similar direction with a, a young German manager once again, um, taking the place of David Wagner. Right, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this on this because I don't really know much about him. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on him. I, I really, really am interested to see what Huddersfield fans in particular think of this transfer and, and this new appointment. I'm really, really interested. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, sorry for not like a, a lot of knowledge on him because obviously not many people really know who he is. I had no idea who he was until unt until he was linked with the appointment and then I had to do a bit of research on him. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Mike and I will see you soon.